During the production of our Wildlife Man series, we've encountered many wonderful species of reptiles, especially snakes, like the reticulated pythons in East Timor. Huge animals that can snap the neck of a man like a twig and have jaws like a small crocodile. We've encountered the beautiful pythons of Outback Australia and also the deadly snakes, like the evil-looking tiger snake. But out here on the Great Barrier Reef lives a snake that is many times more toxic than any snake we have ever encountered. So today, we go in search of the marine snakes. We've been told that sea snakes have come into the inshore reefs to feed, but how they will react to my 250 watt filming lights is unknown. This strange snake-like creature is only a harmless marine worm. These soft-bodied animals filter the coral rubble much like an earthworm does in our garden. I follow an olive sea snake. Its paddle-shaped tail allows this marine reptile to swim with ease. These snakes hunt fish and paralyze them with the most potent venom known in the animal kingdom. Handling these snakes requires extreme caution. The mouth can open wide enough to allow the frontal fangs to deliver fatal bites to divers. Olive sea snakes shed their scales like terrestrial snakes and also use their forked tongue to smell prey. While underwater, they shut special valves to stop water pouring into their nostrils. And amazingly, they can hold their breath for over an hour. Eventually, however, they must return to the surface for a fresh breath of air. I'm fascinated by these incredibly venomous snakes. My gentleness is rewarded by non-aggression. But I must remind myself, this creature has a potential to take my life in a single bite. Olive sea snakes seldom attack divers, but will bite if they feel threatened. It is better to just let them be.